So let's focus on health now. The CDC now warning Americans to avoid non-essential travel to China, where the coronavirus is spreading. I'll do that. Five cases have been confirmed in the United States. Now, as Hillary Lane reports, the government is evacuating Americans still stranded in the quarantine city of Wuhan. Wearing full protective gear, authorities on the border of China's Hubei province are manning checkpoints. After an ID and temperature check, anyone with a fever is told to go to the hospital immediately. As the death toll goes above 100, the city of Wuhan is closer to finishing the construction of two new hospitals. Today's briefing. In the U.S., health officials are warning against any non essential travel to China and have increased the number of screening sites from five U.S. airports to 20 U.S airports and border crossings. Talks are also underway to get U.S. and World Health Organization officials on the front lines working alongside Chinese officials. This is a major, major issue, major public health issue, and we basically just need the best public health people we have in the world working on this right now. As for the U.S. nationals stuck in Wuhan, the State Department has chartered a flight to evacuate about 230 diplomats and U.S. citizens, especially those at greatest risk. The plane is set to leave Wednesday morning from China, headed for Ontario, California. Health officials say physicians will be on the flight and passengers will be screened and monitored constantly. Wisconsin father Sam Robb hopes his wife and two small children get on board. We've got a 10-month-old, we've got a 5-year-old. They're susceptible. U.S. health officials say they have developed a rapid test for diagnosing patients and they are working to develop a vaccine. Hillary Lane, CBS News, New York. U.S. health officials say they're also testing a number of antiviral drugs to treat patients who are diagnosed, and they say the risk of contracting the coronavirus in the U.S. remains low. Jade?